always have your helmet on so that when the coach calls your name, you're ready to go in the game. Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And let's talk about getting the big yes today, how to get more listings. I think one of the greatest lessons I ever learned about success was from my seventh grade football coach, Coach Burge. And this is what he taught us. Always have your helmet on so that when the coach calls your name, you're ready to go in the game. And what he was teaching us was the law of preparation, the importance of always being prepared so that when opportunity came, you were ready. In fact, there's a saying that says, when opportunity knocks, have your coat on. And one of the things that has always amazed me in real estate is when I first got in real estate, they, the first thing they started teaching us was how to generate leads, how to prospect, get an appointment. And it was almost like they were going to let you make it up as you went. So number one, prospect, get an appointment. And then as soon as you got an appointment, you're like, what do I do next? I'm not ready for this. I don't know what to do. So now I have 24 hours to figure out what to do to get ready to go on a listing presentation and how to do all that. And I realized as I began training agents and coaching agents, I was always stunned at how many agents had been in the real estate business for months, if not years. And they naturally kind of found themselves working with buyers because intuitively, it's not that hard to show a house to somebody, to show houses to buyers. They're looking, you know, it's easy to do it, right? And it doesn't take that much skill, doesn't take that much expertise. And so agents automatically kind of get sucked into working with buyers by default, not only because it's easier to find people that want to go look at houses, it's also easier to show people houses than it is to talk to them about selling their house, which is what you have to do to be a powerful listing agent. So on this video, I want to talk about how do you get more listings just by one simple strategy, and that is preparation. And then I'm going to share with you why this is so critical and so powerful in helping you do it. So as I look at agents who are out there, they set an appointment and they go like, I got an appointment tomorrow, what do I do? And I'm like, you're not even ready. You don't even know what's going on. You don't have your helmet on. So I wanna share with you five things that you need to have prepared, five things that need to be in place so that when the opportunity comes, when the coach calls your name, when the seller says, yes, come over and talk to me about listing my house, you're ready for the game. You're ready to go in. And these five steps, I'm amazed at how many agents do not have this stuff ready. So I'm talking to you, whether you're a brand new agent or just an agent who doesn't have this stuff ready, is if you don't have this stuff ready, these five things I'm about to lay out for you, this should be something you start working on today. I mean, spend, put the hours in. Do your lead generation in the morning and then spend four, five, six, eight hours a day till you get this dialed in so you know exactly you're, you're, you're ready whenever that listing appointment opportunity comes. So number one, first thing you got to get ready is you've got to have your pre-listing, you got to have your pre-listing process and packet ready to go. You need your pre-listing process ready and your pre-listing packet ready. So when you get an appointment, again, you know exactly what to do. So your pre-listing process is once you set an appointment with them, what do you do next? You pre-qualify them. Now I've got, once I get them pre-qualified, now I've got to do a CMA, I've got to prepare a net sheet, I've got to send them out a pre-listing packet, which is going to have your action plan, testimonials and reviews. It's going to have information about your action plan, all of that kind of stuff ready to send along with the listing documents and everything else. All the stuff that needs to be ready to go the moment I set a listing appointment, needs to be ready to go. Powerful to have that ready to go. Next thing is your listing, actually your listing presentation. Is do you have your listing presentation ready to go? Do you know exactly what you're gonna say, how you're gonna say it from the moment you knock on their door until you get the signatures, do you have that process laid out. Now, one of the things that I lay out for you in my uh, book, The Book of Yes, is exactly how to set up for a listing presentation, how to pre-qualify it, and then how to actually do a rock star gold medal listing presentation. Now, it's one thing to have the script. It's another thing to master it. Okay, so it's not just a matter of, it's kind of like a football player. If you're getting ready to go in the game, I, I, it wasn't just having the helmet on, right? I also had to have 
the plays known in my head because I couldn't run out on the play f- on the play uh, the the field with a playbook in my hand, right? Like, okay, what call? What's the play? Oh, and I'm I'm looking. You can't do that. So at the listing, the, uh, when you want to get listings, you got to get your listing presentation and master it. It's going to take some time. This is going to be some work. But if you want to be ready, if you want to be prepared to get more listings, you got to get prepared to get more listings. Number three is all the listing documents, all the listing paperwork, all the listing documents. So that's your listing agreement. It's your disclosures, all of that kind of stuff that you, everything that requires your seller to sign it. For you to sign it, your seller to sign it, in order for you to put their house on the market and sell it, you gotta not only have that, have it ready to go, you gotta know how to fill it out. You gotta know how to to, to take a seller and walk them through it so that when they get done, they actually make sense and they'll actually sign it rather than going like, I'm totally confused now. You mean I gotta read all eight pages of this? You gotta be able to, uh, you gotta be able to summarize it concisely and clearly and in a way that makes them feel safe and confident to go ahead and put pen to paper, right? You gotta get this ready. And I know it's like, I'm always amazed how many real estate agents have never actually read a listing agreement. Are you kidding me? You should read one today. After, as soon as you get done watching this video, if you haven't read a listing agreement this month, you should get one out and read it today. Read it out loud, word for word, all the way through, just so you know what's there. And then you gotta work on how do I summarize that paragraph and this paragraph and this paragraph. How would I summarize that and take a whole paragraph and summarize it into one sentence? Yes, I know, it's work, but you gotta do this work if you wanna be prepared so you can get more listings. Then number four, once you get the listing, you gotta know, you gotta know what you're gonna do to get it to actually sell for top dollar. You gotta have a selling process in place. One of the worst things that can happen, one of the worst experiences that an agent can have is to take a listing and then it not sell. You took it overpriced and then you put it on the market, you put it on the MLS and you didn't really have a plan. And if you didn't have a plan, you didn't have a process to follow, then all you know to do is put a sign in the yard, put it on the MLS and then you're like, okay, now what do I do? Uh, pray, <laughs> hope it sells, hope the seller didn't get mad, hope it sells before the seller gets mad, hope the seller didn't call me going like, what are you doing? Well, I'm not doing anything because I put it on the MLS, I don't know what else to do. My friend, you must have a selling process. If you don't have a selling process yet, get one. Find somebody that's got a great one in your office, your broker. Join, get in my coaching, yesmasters.com, join my coaching. Go to double your listing power training camp. Do something so that you can master having a selling process so that you know how to sell every single listing every single time. And then with all of that preparation done, all this got to be done, here's the most critical preparation that must happen every single day and that is simply this. Suit up every day. Now I'm going to repeat this and then I'm going to explain what I mean by that. You have to suit up every single day, which means every day that you're working, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if you're working Monday to Friday or Monday through Saturday or whatever days you're working, when you show up at the office, you got to be ready to take a listing. If you're prospecting today and you're not wear, you're not dressed in business attire to go do a listing presentation, what you're saying is I'm not prepared to take a listing today. The, most, the worst thing is you, you, you call an expired or an ex, you, you run across an expired, whether you're door knocking or phone call on them or just it happens out of the blue and all of a sudden they're like, I need you, can you come over this afternoon? And you go like, oh my gosh, uh, let's see, well I gotta do my CMA, I gotta, uh, I gotta, and then I gotta go home, I gotta take a shower, I gotta shave, I gotta get dressed, oh my gosh, I probably have to iron my shirt. You are not ready, my friend, you're not prepared. When the coach calls your name, when the coach calls your number, you better have your helmet on. And if you want to be successful in real estate, if you know that you want to get more listings and that's the way to be successful in real estate, you know you want to get more listings, you got to be ready for this. You got to be prepared. Not only do you got to be prepared in knowing what to do and how to do it, but you got to be prepared here and it shows up by the way you show up. And if you're not dressed and ready for battle, when the opportunity comes, you're going like, oh my gosh, and you're surprised. Here's the most powerful thing. When you do all of that, Something changes in the way you think. And that is the moment that you show up and you are completely prepared. Preparation reflects and is reflected in your expectation. 
And this probably to me is the most powerful thing of all when it comes to getting more listings. And that is, as I looked around on myself, I looked around when I was starting real estate at other newer agents, agents who are trying to get started, is they're like, they don't believe they're ready. They don't expect to get a result. And so guess what? They don't get a result. They don't get a listing. They don't get business. They don't get appointments because they're not, their expectation is not there. They're like maybe someday, but ugh, not yet. And when it does happen, I'll get ready. No, 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 no. Get ready now so that you have the, when you have the preparation in place, the expectation will follow so that I show up. Look, you suit up every day. Here's what starts happening. You start expecting something to happen. When all of this is ready, now I'm confident. I know what happens. Once I get a listing appointment, I know what to do next. When I show up at their house to do a listing, I know what to do next. When it comes to actually sign the listing documents, I know how to do that. I know what comes next. When I get the listing, I know how to sell it. When you know how to sell it, all of a sudden your confidence goes up the level, uh, up, up a level. It goes through the roof. And the moment that happens, boom, expectation of success goes up and up. And then you show up suited up and ready expectation is everything. I've always taught about the law of attraction. The greatest factor in the law of attraction is the power of your own expectation. And expectation happens through the process of preparation. And when you're prepared to get yes, you can always expect to get yes. So if you like the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Put your questions and comments below. If there's something else you think I'm missing or leaving out or you have questions about any of this, make sure you post it below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you've not done that yet, share this with other agents that you know need some help. Get some more listings and I'll see you on the next video.